I've had this journal for a long time, and at first, when my wife got it, it became more of a paperweight more than anything else. But I decided to bring it out now, since there seems to be something going on. Recently, Topham signed an agreement for this new nuclear power plant the government is building on the Brendan branch between the docks and Suttery. Of all the places they could have put it, they had to put it near the most beautiful line in my opinion. That's going to affect tourism, and that's probably why the big man signed that contract to take nuclear waste to and from the mainland. He's got to regain that money somehow. Anyways, besides that, nothing's changed. Edward's doing fine, and he's got a similar opinion to me on the power plant. He said it's going to be an eyesore, but he does like the idea of doing more work. I'm currently writing this while we wait for the all clear at the platform, so I'll keep this book in the cab if we spot anything else going on. I knew it would happen. We were at Wellsworth when it happened, and I heard a loud explosion. The sky went dark, and this huge cloud was visible in the distance. Charlie and I knew exactly where that came from, and we knew we had to go. People cleared the platform faster than I had ever seen before. We knew the shockwave would be coming fast, so we alerted the guard, and luckily he had seen what we saw. He blew his whistle, and we released the brakes, hit the regulator, and pulled on the whistle for deer line. We sped down the line at speeds we've never gone before. We passed Donald, who was heading the opposite way, pulling slow goods. We found out that he didn't make it out alive, and neither did William or Colin in his cab. Edward was probably the most horrified out of all of us, and I don't blame him. While we all had some layer of protection, he didn't, so that probably motivated him to go faster. We shot past Crosby, and that's when the shockwave hit us. And Jesus, it was strong. It caused the glass in the carriages to shatter, and rocked them to the side. Edward's front pony truck also derailed on the points because of it, but those things didn't stop us. We could feel the heat rising, but we didn't stop until we got to Natford. Luckily, we made it in safely and huddled everyone in the station buildings and offices 